Episode 75, Calculating the Match Mr. Wiles had tutored Davy in math since he was young. He had overcome countless obstacles and won numerous awards. He felt that he was superior to kids his own age, and he often looked down on them with disdain. How could he, so proud and arrogant, have been defeated by someone as insignificant as Aiden? How could he tolerate it? What makes you want to compete with me? Aiden asked. Uh... Davy wasn't sure what to say, so he stared at Aiden speechlessly. Aiden sighed. All right, Davy, let's see which one of us is better at mental arithmetic. Mr. Wiles smiled at this. Even if Aiden was a little strange, he wouldn't be able to outdo Davy in mental arithmetic. Davy's mental calculation ability was amazing, and even the head of Oxford's mathematics department had praised him. After receiving his grandfather's instructions, Davy nodded at Aiden. Do you dare to compete with me at mental arithmetic? He asked proudly. Aiden was stunned, and he pretended to be very reluctant. Mental arithmetic? All right. Aiden lacked confidence, Mr. Wiles saw. The corners of his mouth curled up slightly. Just as he was about to announce the rules of the competition, though, Aiden suddenly interrupted him. Wait! What is it? Mr. Wiles asked, clearly annoyed. If I win, you have to promise to do something for me. Do you dare? Aiden sounded confident, but he avoided Mr. Wiles' eyes. Before Mr. Wiles had even heard his request, his immediate impulse was to refuse. Promises could end up costing a fortune for someone as powerful as Mr. Wiles. They weren't something to be casually dolled out to whoever asked. However, he observed a note of panic in Aiden's eyes, and a thought occurred to him. He was trying to scare him. Mr. Wiles adjusted his posture so he could look down at the boy. Why wouldn't I dare? How about this? If you lose, you have to take off your clothes and run down the mountain naked. So, do you still want to compete? Well, Aiden said. Aiden's reaction made Mr. Wiles feel even more confident in his guess. He was very pleased with himself. He thought he had exposed Aiden's plan. After hesitating for a few moments, Aiden finally gritted his teeth. Let's compete. Isn't it just mental arithmetic? Master taught me well. Thinking he saw Aiden's inner cowardice and weakness, Mr. Wiles smiled. He didn't know Aiden was smiling too, though his face still looked serious. Mr. Wiles had been tricked. Ding! Deceiving others. Acting skills, plus one. Current progress, one out of ten. Current level, beginner level. Mr. Wiles, who couldn't wait to teach Aiden a lesson, announced the rules of the mental arithmetic competition. To guarantee fairness, he and John would each write out a series of numbers that were more than 10 digits in length. The numbers would then be used to create 10 math problems. Whoever solved all the problems first would win. John had Miss Lee bring them paper and pencils and then began to write down the numbers along with Mr. Wiles. John was very anxious as he wrote. He was already wondering what he would do when Aiden lost. If he let the poor boy run down the mountain naked, he'd be humiliated, not to mention the embarrassment that such going-ons would bring to the K family. He wished Aiden hadn't been so impulsive and silently scolded the boy. Mr. Wiles was even happier when he noticed John's uneasiness. Under Mr. Wiles' constant urging, the two of them finally came up with a question, which they wrote on a piece of paper and placed in front of Aiden and Davy. On the count of five, you may begin the mental arithmetic competition. Mr. Wiles started counting down. Five, four, three, 